Hello and welcome to a very little workshop to a tool that I have been using a couple of times over the, the past year, basically. Um, my name is Sebastian Pass and uh, I'm a lecturer for European Studies at the Department for Government and International Studies. And for each class, basically, you can establish one so-called project here. So what I'm going to show you here is um, basically you have this, this project, you can set up different boards. Um, as far as I know, there's no limitation here. And to each board specifically, you can invite users. This is my role. And um, you can, if you want to, you can see it here, you can also make presentations on that. That's something I'm, I'm going to try here. So if I zoom out here, you can see I set up a few pages that I'm going to show you. Um, I don't think I can show you all of the functions, but uh, probably you, you can see them uh, while we're going along. So uh, you can share the board, of course, you can, uh, uh, put the email addresses of your users, of your students in here. And uh, you can just simply use your Google accounts uh, that you use for BU to log in. Um, good thing is you can also track your movement. So basically every user sees where my mouse cursor is right now, uh, including my name. You can see I have frames. I set up frames here all, all over the place uh, that you can easily track on the site. So let me just start with the first slide here and I try to make it like a bit like an MTR plan. So uh, we should basically follow the road here. First thing you can see here already in this presentation, you have frames. Um, you can also add comments and you can use a chat. It has a chat room here where you can basically say anything you like, hello, and all the comments will be saved there and we'll get a timestamp. Um, so basically offering an interaction even outside of the classroom with your students um, or with fellow teachers, if you co-teach, for example. Um, you can include graphics, you can uh, copy and paste pictures in there, you can also set um, uh, videos on there, YouTube things, for example, and you can set timers if you want to set a certain time for uh, an exercise. You can freely draw on it if you, if you like, even better if you have a pen or anything like this. Um, so you can also say, I just write directly on the board. This is as well possible and even better if you have a pen or something like this. Uh, and talking of this, I will get to the very point of direct interaction very soon. So you can sketch on it if you have an arts class or something like this, um, or you can just chat with your students immediately in the chat room. Um, you have uh, a whole variety, a very big variety of, uh, of templates you can use uh, and you can use them for all sorts of different uh, purposes. Uh, you can vote, you can create exercise, you can brainstorm uh, topics, you can organize classes even. Um, and these templates can be found here. You can also have more templates um, depending on uh, which uh, plan you have on, on this platform. Um, some are good for arranging things, uh, for all kinds of different uh, purposes, you can find something here. I'm sure yeah, there is something for you. Um, also an advantage is tracking. So you see the mouse cursor here and everyone who would join me here would see my mouse cursor, cursor, including my name as well. So I can track student interaction. I can see where they are on the board. So if I tell them, hey, come to my screen and uh, I'm somewhere and someone doesn't follow, I you probably know this person is not really there. Um, of course, I can see myself and of course, uh, the interesting thing is, and that's why I use it for office hours, is you can um, track who is doing what. And you have a, a, basically a, a timeline here, which I'm not updating now, but because of personal reasons, some of my students edited something uh, before. But you can see who edited what. So it will be highlighted in, in, in pink. And uh, you can also always keep track on uh, when was what edited uh, on, on, on this particular page. Uh, and also you will see a timestamp so you see what when your students did what and of course several other options depending on your own creativity 
Uh, next step is what well, might be a question. Is it possible to include videos? And yes, certainly it is. And uh, Miro directly also offers you videos such as uh, how to get started with. So whenever it comes to interacting with your students directly, um, I think it might be quite useful and it, you, you can act very flexibly here. There are many possibilities, many ways you can do it you know, on this particular platform. Uh, you can discuss with your students, you can uh, connect quite nicely online and offline people uh, altogether. How you can do it, how you can improve mix mode, for example, is also another thing uh, that I'm going to uh, show you very shortly. Um, you can also see this uh, comment I can hear, you can freely add comments wherever you want. So you say here and you also say, uh, this is bad, oops, bad. Um, you can e give a, a color to, to this chat box and you basically open up a chat box so you can fill the, the screen with chat boxes if you desire. Uh, and these chat boxes will pop up. So for example, you can give yourself a specific color and your students a specific color and you always see where are new messages. Um, so similar like in the message on your phone, you will see a, a red dot. So whenever there is a new message in that particular chat room, same also in the general chat room down here. Um, you can also use your PowerPoints or any graphics you have, and you can add them here. Uh, this is one of my PowerPoints from a year four class. Uh, when it was it was about uh, enlightened absolutism, for example. And even here you can say, okay, I would like to uh, make uh, a comment on that, or I would, I would like my students to interpret a cartoon, for example. Uh, you can just go to the cartoon and ask them what is which element, what, what do you think could it stand for? And they are able to highlight things, for example, with their pen or even erase things if they desire. And uh, you see here, voting is possible. Um, and you can certainly use emojis that can be find, uh, found on this platform uh, directly. Um, you can enlarge them, shrink them, however you like, uh, or you can use them as I do here for voting purposes. Um, so you can set a timer, for example, you can pick even the music if you, <laughs> if you want to have a, uh, let's have a... <laughs> You can just stop it uh, and don't start any timer. Um, or let's say you want votes, let's call it voting one, let's keep it here. The duration, how long do they have time? Let's say 10 minutes. Uh, how many votes does each student have? Let's say I want to have one vote each student. Um, then you can change what would you like to use for voting. Uh, in this case, I would like to use this specific part for voting for no, neutral, and yes. And then you just need to click on done and start now. So people are now um, able to, to vote. So vote now. And it gives you a very quick explanation of this, how you can do it. So you see this plus button here and uh, you say, well, do I like this presentation? Yes, no, maybe. Um, since I'm doing that, let's say neutral, and you can see the votes here. When you're done, you're done. And when you think you want to end all of it uh, before the time is over, you can end the vote for all, and you will get results after a very short time. Well, after a few seconds, usually. <laughs> so, um, yeah, in the end, basically, you would, like you see here, you have a summary on who, how many people voted for which option. So let's close this again and let's get to the next slide. So um, also, of course, presentation mode, uh, but I'm just sticking to this so I can also show you some options directly. Next will be, well, what other possibilities might we have with this? Well, as I said, it's totally up to your own creati creativity. Um, you can... Um, discuss with students, uh, you help them with uh, presentation arrangements, for example, uh, give them some advice, you can uh, schedule your class uh, on, on Miro. 
you can even make some games if you like. Uh, like this is just very improvised. You can uh, put some 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 uh, play figures here, and you can just place checkers, for example, or anything else, uh, anything that you could do with paper. Uh, you could theoretically do on this board as well. You can brainstorm ideas. This is how I did all of this. Uh, each of these is a separate element. You can also click on it and say, okay, I would like to add a point here. Another post-its, maybe it's another idea. So I can make it in, in pink, perhaps. I can change the, the side of this, showing different importance. Same for the arrow as well. Uh, I can change the arrow, what kind of style it has. I can change the type if it's uh, rather rectangular or if it's uh, smooth. I personally prefer the smooth ones uh, or pointed, it's pointy like this, for example. Um, you're completely free on what to do and how to do it. Um, so I personally really like to use it as some sort of virtual office hour. So I use uh, Zoom to talk with my students and uh, use Miro as a platform to discuss things on it. So they can change things on it. I can change things on it. I can bring them on my screen. They can bring me on their screen. And we can actively discuss issues like uh, term papers, for example, brainstorm together on term papers, perhaps, or uh, talk about their problems on presentations and any kind of other things. So um, saying that, uh, this shall be it for so far for this very, very basic presentation. Uh, I thank you very much for your attention. And um, I hope this gives you a very brief introduction. I would like to talk more about this, uh, um, but um, yeah, thanks a lot for your attention and uh, hope this was helpful in some way for you. Maybe you can, uh, you would like to use it or would like to try it out. Thanks a lot.